All right, guys, really last minute wash vlog for you guys, okay? I was just left Home Depot, actually. Um, Home Depot, uh, had to get some steel wool, uh, get some tape, because I'm always leaving rolls of tapes everywhere. It's like one of my biggest things, is like always can't find my rolls of tape to tape outlets, and it pisses me off. So I had to go in here and get some Home Depot, but we're fixing to do like a $14 million house right now. It's absolutely crazy. This is one of my quarterly clients. She calls me back every few months to wash the entire house, even though it's spotless, crazy. Um, and to do all the windows. This time we're doing interior windows. My boy Kevin um, actually did all the interior windows for me on Monday. Today's Wednesday. We're gonna be doing all the exterior windows. Some of them have oxidation. We're gonna show you guys how we remove oxidation from windows and as well as we're gonna be washing the entire house, the, the back concrete surfaces and whatnot. I mean, this is one of, this is a fabulous house. Probably one of the best clients I have. Um, and I, I take care of a lot of really nice homes, really nice clients a lot of you guys have seen, but this lady is just so sweet. She found me on Facebook, uh, my Facebook business page two and a half years ago where I had absolutely no business landing a client of her stature. She just somehow went on Facebook search bar, typed in pressure washing, saw my Facebook page and reached out to me. I didn't even have a, I barely had a skid at that point. My very first home built skid, she took a shot at me and I've been taking care of her ever since. I do her property for a really good deal. Like in, in terms of just square footage for house washing, the the, price, the the quote for the house wash should be like 1800 two grand if you go by 20 cents per square foot. I do it for 900 bucks. One, because she always takes care of me. It's a huge house and uh, it's always clean. So we're fixing to go there. I'm gonna show you guys this huge project and we're gonna have some fun. Let's get to it. Hey guys, real quick, if you're looking to get started in the pressure washing business, but you don't know exactly what equipment you're gonna need to get started, I made a really awesome video detailing every single piece of equipment that you're gonna need to get started as a beginner. Everything from pressure washers, injectors, hose lines, and more. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it first link in the description and first link in the comment section. But for now, let's get back to the video. All right, so we're doing the entire exterior, flat surfaces over here. Already did the interior windows on Monday. So we're also gonna be doing this exterior detached garage. Man, you should see the cars in here. They got freaking crazy cars, Porsches, Ferraris, everything. And uh, you can kind of see, I'm not sure if you can tell, but like this window over here, some oxidation on there. Wow, this new phone is crazy. I'm using the iPhone 15 Pro and the camera is like crazy good. Um, so we're gonna be plugging in our water, which is just right over yonder. Just wait till I show you guys the back. The back, the view on the back is like insane. Show you guys here in a second. All right, guys. Beautiful lake front view. This is the exclusive of the exclusive. All the exterior windows. We have a large upstairs balcony that I'm not to wash. Big, beautiful 10, 12 foot tall windows. All gonna be done by hand as customer requested. All these flat work is gonna get cleaned off. We're gonna clean this furniture because why not? They take care of us, we take care of them. And we're gonna come over here, big old windows. We water fed pulled these windows last time and uh, they turned out great, but a lot of them have oxidation. So we're just gonna give them the full treatment. And we're in the Heath Phelps 3000s. <laughs> All right, so the client actually just came out and told me that she's leaving for Europe at one o'clock. So I'm not to move my truck and whatnot whenever that gets, you know, whenever that time comes. But basic plan is, you know, basic house washing, 1% downstream. The house is already clean. The windows are pretty much clean. So we're gonna uh, move and groove. We're gonna have some fun. Our total completion time for this job is probably gonna be about eight hours. We were here three hours on Monday doing all the interior windows, five hours today doing the exterior windows. We're gonna have some uh, steel wool and some really good oxidation remover for the windows. Get all those windows looking really, really good basic downstream solution on the house. Downstreaming this house usually takes me an hour and a half. <laughs> it's a very, very clean house. So um, drop it down in the comment section how much you guys think we're charging for this job. Like I said, this, this client comes back every four months to do everything. Um, and thank God she took a shot at me when I was first starting my business. What a, just a saint of a woman. So I totally appreciate her for that. And um, this is what I'm talking about. This is gonna be my new pressure washing program. How to land clients like this and how to reach out to your existing database. It just irks me and I don't see how people are doing this, but people will have 50, 60 clients in their database and they don't know how to make a good offer on how to you know get jobs back in their pipeline. Like let's say if people are slow and they're not getting any jobs, but they have a hundred clients in their database. Dude, if I'm slow and I want jobs, 
all I have to do is reach out to my database and like that, I'm getting calls. So learn to take advantage of your existing database. So if you're doing that already, whether you're doing ring, ringless voicemails or text message reach outs or emails, you're probably not making a good offer. You're not making an offer that's so good that people would, you know, people would find silly saying no to. So that's all going to be my new program. Be able to look out for that in the next 30 days. But outside of that, we're going to get into this job. I'm not going to be able to do too much walking and talking because I do need to concentrate. We're on time schedule here. So I'm going to prop you guys up. We'll go all, all the way around the house. Enjoy some nice voiceovers, some nice music overlay. Let's make this money. All right, guys. So as I said, we are using just a 1% solution. I got a little bit of surfactant in there um, from my, uh, my soap valve. I'm easily able to just add soap via a valve. I don't need to mix my soap with my bleach anymore. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of going around watering everything down. I do like to introduce water to anything that I'm cleaning before I put soap on there or, you know, bleach. I know some guys don't like to do that or some people, you know, they, you know, they show up to a house and they just all of a sudden start bleaching. But for me, I don't like to do that. I like to just water everything down, get the bulk of the dirt. If any, if there, if there is any dirt, as you guys can see, I'm able to just, you know, from 200 foot away, easily just hit the button. And soap will come out of my gun there, which is really, really sweet. I got that whole setup from All Clean Power Wash in uh, Waynesboro, Virginia. If you guys want to get a automatic downstream setup where you guys can just remote control your downstream, hit them up. I'll throw that link in the description. I believe it was about seven, 800 bucks. So absolutely worth the money. You do not want to be running all the way around this house in particular. And uh, every single time you want to turn your soap and on and off. But yeah, guys, I mean, we were able to do this house in an hour and a half, just washing the outside of the house. So yeah, guys, we were just breezing by this house. But one thing I kind of wanted to expand on earlier in this video, I kind of talked about reaching out to your previous clients. If you guys are, you know, slow, you guys have gaps in your schedule. Look, a beautiful thing that you guys can do is reach out to your CRM. This is one of the beauties of having a CRM, okay? So if it's getting cold, you guys are getting slow on work, you're, you, don't, you don't have any um, incoming leads, the incoming leads are slowing down. One thing you can do is just reach out to your clients and say, hey, look, it's getting colder. Have you guys had your gutters cleaned yet? Is that a no? If, if not, it's a really good idea because if leaves start to fall and the gutters are full, when that happens, it's going to lead to issues. It could lead to clogging. Um, you know, your gutters aren't going to be functioning properly. So, hey, look, if we can get you on the schedule in the next seven days, 10 days, I can get you a really good deal. This is how I fill my schedule if I'm getting slow. I can reach out to my 800, almost 850 clients and fill my schedule by simply making a good offer. And this is what's going to be in my new program is how to make a winning offer. That's not sketchy. Over there on an angle. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got done with the whole house wash. Come through, doing these windows. A lot of those windows have some hard water, so we got some vinegar. And what else we got in here? Bio clean. Bio clean. There we go. Hard water stain remover. Bio clean. Some vinegar and some. Uh, Glass cleaner, just a little splash in the bucket. And it works wonders, huh, Kev? All right, guys, so these windows are absolutely kicking our butts. So a lot of these windows actually had a lot of hard water, and which is why the prices, as you'll see at the end of this video, we charged quite a bit of money. 25 of these huge windows, I'm talking the ones that are 12 foot high by you know six foot wide, have a bunch of hard water at the top, and they just simply won't come clean with some easy mop and squeegee. So that's what kind of what reflected in the price being so high. Um, so basically how we're doing it is Kevin's going around using steel wool and just kind of scrubbing it. And then I'm coming right behind him and using the water fed pole, brushing all that, you know, hard water down and then rinsing it. That's kind of our plan of attack here. But the windows are so hot as soon as we mop, you know, it's it's drying so quick. So that's why this uh, particular window cleaning job just kicked our butts. It is 3.30, started at nine o'clock. What's that math? Six? Six and a half. Six freaking hours. What do you gotta say about that, Big Kev? Nothing. Nothing. Easy money. Easy money. <laughs> this place. I have a love-hate relationship with this place. All right, what is going on, guys? We just got done. Wow, I feel like I just got my ass kicked out there in the sun. Those windows are just a pain in the butt. I have a love-hate relationship with that client. Well, not that client, that house, really. I love the client. She calls me back every few months. That's always big tickets um, and she loves me. So it's all great, but the house is just, it's annoying. The windows are huge when it's really, really hot. This mop, you know, when you're mopping the window, it dries before you can even have a chance to squeegee it off. Just crazy. So we're total at nine hours from Monday uh, when we went to the interior and then about six, six and a half hours today, about nine and a half hours, four grand was the total ticket on that one. So not too mad about that. 
Um, but right now we are at an apartment complex because I have a very special relationship with um, a commercial construction uh, company and they do a lot of these uh, buildings, you know, from the whole construction all the way up to when it's finished. Um, they always bring me out here to look at the property. They have had me bid several parking garages. One of them we're doing at the end of the month. And uh, now we're fixing to go look at this apartment complex. They want the uh, breezeways, the walkways done. It just got built up and we're gonna go take a look at it. And I'll bring you along with me and we'll see what we think. I have the regional manager coming to meet me here and she kind of wants me to give her a price per building and we'll see what I can come up with. So let's get it. All right guys, so from, like I said, we're doing all the breezeways and up. So breezeway stairs, kind of the interior siding of the building. Looks really, really clean. Apparently they're just concerned because there's a lot of post-construction dust. And this is where, this is where expectations come into play. Because if you look at this, okay, that's not really gonna come off with the power washer. It barely even comes off with my finger. I mean, this kind of stuff really needs to get brushed. Almost like with a little water-fed pole, kind of light bristle brush, brushing it off. That's the kind of expectations that need to be set here. Um, and that really just comes from knowing what you're doing, knowing that certain stuff is just not gonna come off with water and pressure. So under here, you know, that actually kind of looks like, uh, might be a little bit of mold or mildew right there. So, you know, actually I don't even think that is because this place is brand, brand new, like brand spanking new, like a few months old. So there's no way that's mold or mildew. Um, Coming through here, any of these power washing marks, obviously they need to know that that kind of stuff is not gonna be taken care of, cleaned or reversed with our process. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I try to get as much content as possible, uh, but man, I've just been so busy and I can't believe it, it's November and we're slammed. Um, going into December, it's looking pretty good as well. Look at that freaking beast. I need to come up with a name for this beast. It's the beast. Got one building, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten buildings. Wish me luck on this one, boys. Boys and girls. See y'all next one. Peace out.